Hi, I'm Sam Thurgood and welcome to my two-minute parasha in this week's Sidra of Baal. Moshe comes to Pharaoh to warn him about the plague of darkness in which our sages teach us many Jewish people actually died. Even though as a rule the Jewish people were not harmed or affected by the plagues, in the plague of darkness all of those who did not want to leave Egypt perished. And the question of course is why would there be any Jewish people who did not want to leave Egypt? after? Decades of slavery and oppression and torture and misery. Here you have Moshe on behalf of Hashem offering them this chance at freedom. One would have expected everyone to jump at it. The Ishbitza Rebbe Rabbi Mordechai Yosef Lainer says that there is a concept of Maase Avot Siman Labanin. Our sages teach us that what our forefathers do is reflected in the destiny and history of the Jewish people. And in this case, he focuses on one of the tests from the life of Abraham Avinu. Our father Abraham was tested by Hashem ten times, and one of the tests was when his nephew Lot was captured. Lot was captured in war, and Abraham made the decision to go to fight against those who had captured Lot and rescue him. The Ishbitzer says the fact that it was a test shows us that it wasn't just a question of was Abraham brave enough? But he had a real decision to make. Was this the right thing to do? Was Lot worth fighting for? And Abraham at one point was in two minds. Lot was somebody who had chosen to opt out of Hashem's mission, to go and live in the land of Sodom, where Lot eventually became a somewhat reprehensible person. And by opting out of Hashem's plan, perhaps he had lost his chance to be a part of the destiny of the Jewish people. Eventually, Abraham decided that he would go and fight for Lot, that he would go and rescue him, that he was somebody worth saving. And as a result, Ruth and Naama, Ruth and Naama, two of the great mothers of the Davidic dynasty, were born eventually from Lot's descendants. But the Ishbitzer says that same moment of indecision is reflected at other points in Jewish history, and in our case, during those days of darkness in Egypt. You had Jews who said, freedom, the chance to serve Hashem, to be released from Pharaoh, to go to the land of Israel, where we can take up our destiny as our own people and our own land. That is definitely something worth risking it all for. And you had others who said, I don't know, maybe we shouldn't. Sounds a little tricky. Is it really worth fighting for? The answer, of course, was yes. But that moment of Abraham's indecision was reflected in his children with tragic consequences for those who chose not to go for the freedom, but heroic consequences for those who did. Shabbat Shalom.